everyone can access everything they save from anywhere. Western Digital is an American computer drive manufacturer. The company was founded on April 23, 1970 in Newport Beach, California by Alvin B. Phillips, and to this very day, the company is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. 1970s. Western Digital, Western Digital was founded on April 23, 1970 by Alvin B. Phillips a Motorola employee as General Digital Corporation, initially a manufacturer of, MSO, of MOS test equipment. It was originally based in Newport Beach, California, shortly, shortly thereafter moving to Santa Ana, California, and would go on to become one of the largest techno technology firms headquartered in Orange County. It rapidly became a specialty semiconductor maker, with startup capital provided by several individual investors and industrial giant Emerson, Elect Emerson Electric. Around July 1971, it adopted its current name and soon introduced its first product, the WD. 1402A UART. During the early 1970s, the company focused on making and selling calculator chips, and by 1975, Western Digital was the largest independent calculator chip maker in the world. The oil crisis of the mid-1970s and the bankruptcy of its biggest calculator customer, Balmar Instrument, changed its fortunes. However, and in 1976, Western Digital declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy. After this, Emerson Electric withdrew their support of the company. Chuck Missler joined Western Digital as chairman and chief executive in June 1977 and became the largest shareholder of Western Digital. In 1973, Western Digital established its Malaysian plant initially to manufacture semiconductors. Western Digital introduced several products during the late 1970s, including the MCP 1600 multi-chip Microcoded CPU. The MCP 1600 was used to implement DEC's LSI 11 system, the W, the WD 16, and their own Pascal micro engine microcomputer, which ran the USCDP system version 3 and USCD and UCSD Pascal. However, the WD integrated circuit that arguably drove Western's forward integration was the FD1771, one of the first single chip floppy disk drive formatter slash controllers which could replace significant amounts of TTL logic. 1980s. The FD1771 and its kin were Western Digital's first entry into the data storage industry. By the early 1980s, they were making hard disk drive controllers, and in 1983, they won the contract to provide IBM with controllers for the PC app. That controller, the WD1003, became the bias of, of the ATA interface, which Western Digital developed along with Compaq and Control Data Corporation's IPM division, now owned by Seagate Technology, starting in 1986. Throughout most of the 1980s, the family of controllers based on the WD-1003 provided the bulk of Western Digital's revenues and profits, and, time, and for a time generated enormous corporate growth. Much of the mid to late 1980s saw an effort by Western Digital to use the profits from their ATA storage controllers to become a general purpose OEM hardware supplier for the PC industry. As a result, Western Digital purchased a number of hardware companies. These included graphic cards through its Paradise System subsidiary, purchased in 1986, which, which later became Western Digital Imaging, CoreLogic chipsets by purchasing Faraday Electronics Incorporated in 1987, SCSI controller chips and controller chips for disc and tape devices by purchasing ADSI in 1986, networking WD8003, WD8013 Ethernet, Ethernet and WD and WD8003S Starlan, they did well, especially Paradise, which produced one of the best VGA cards of the era. But storage-related chips and disk controllers were their biggest money makers. In 1986, they introduced the WD. In 1986, they introduced the WD1701 
33C93 single chip SC SC SI interface which which was used in the first 16-bit bus which was used in the first 16-bit bus mastering SC SI host adapter the WD7000 fast in 1987, they introduced the WD-37C65, a single-chip implementation of the pc at floppy disk controller circuitry, and the grandfather of modern Super I.O. chips. In 1988, they introduced the WD-42C22 Vanilla, the first single-chip ATA hard disk controller. 1988 also brought what would be the biggest change in Western Digital's history. That year, Western Digital bought the hardware, the hard drive production sets for of PC hardware maker Tandon. The first products of that union under Western Digital's own name were the Centaur series of ATA and XT attachment drives. 1990s. By 1991, things were starting to slow down as the PC industry moved from ST506 and ESDI drives to ATA and SC. SI and thus were buying fewer hard disk controller boards. That year saw the rise of Western Digital's Caviar Drives, brand new designs that used the latest embedded servo and computerized diagnostic systems. Eventually, the successful sales of the Caviar Drives resulted in Western Digital starting to sell some of its divisions. Paradise was sold to Philips and since and since disappeared. Its networking and floppy disk uh, its networking and floppy drive controller divisions were what went to SMC Networks and its SCSI chip business went to Future Domain, which was later bought out by market leader Adapt. Adapt Tech. Around 1995, the technological lead that the Caviar Drives had enjoyed was eclipsed by newer offerings from other companies, especially Quantum Corporation, and Western Digital fell into a slump. In 1994, Western Digital began producing hard drives at its Malaysian factory, employing 13,000 people. Products and ideas of of this time did not go far. The portfolio drive, a 3-inch 76mm form, factor model developed with JT storage was a flop, as was the SDX hard disk to CD-ROM interface. Western Digital's drives started to slip further behind competing products and qualify and quality began to suffer. System builders and PC enthusiasts who used to recommend Western Digital above all else were going to the competition, particularly MaxTor, whose products had improved significantly by the late 1990s. In an attempt to turn the tide in 1998, in an attempt to turn the tide in 1998, Western Digital recruited the help of IBM. This agreement gave Western Digital the rights to use certain IBM technologies including giant magneto resistive GMR heads to access to to IBM production facilities the result was the ex- the result was the expert line of drives introduced in early 1999 the idea worked and western digital regained respect in the press and among users even despite a recall in 2000 which was due to a bad motor driver chips Western Digital later broke ties with IBM. 2000s. In 2001, Western Digital became the first manufacturer to offer mainstream ATA hard disk drives with 8 MIB to disk of disk buffer. At that time, most desktop hard disk drives had 2 megabytes of buffer. Western Digital labeled these 8 megabyte models as special edition and distinguished them with the JB code. The MB models had the BB code. The first 8 MB cache drive was the 100 GB WD1000 JB followed by other models starting with the 40 GB capacity. Western Digital advertised the JB models for cost effective file servers. In October 2001, Western Digital restated its prior year results to reflect the adoption of SEC staff, accounting bulletin number 101, and the reclassification of Connex 
and Sand Navigator results and as discontinued operations. In 2003, Western Digital acquired most of the assets of bankrupt one-time market-leading magnetic hard drive read right-head developer ReadWrite Corporation for $95 million. In the same year, Western Digital offered the 10,000 RPM serial ATA HDD, the WD360 GD Raptor with a capacity of 36 GB and an average access time of less than 6 milliseconds. Soon the 74 GB WD740 GD followed, which was also much quieter. In 2004, Western Digital redesigned its logo for the first time since 1997 with the design of new logo focusing on the company's initials, WD. In 2005, Western Digital released a 100, released a 150 GB version, the WD-1500 ADFD, which was also available in a special version with a transparent window enabling the user to see the drive's heads move over the platters while the drive read and wrote data Raptor X WD-1500 AD Raptor X WD-150 AH FD. The biggest capacity 3.5 inch Raptor is the WD1600 ADFD with a total of 160 GB of disk space. As of 2004, the Western Digital Raptor drives have a 5 year warranty, making them a more attractive choice for inexpensive storage servers, where a large number of drives in constant use increases the likelihood of a drive failure. In 2006, Western Digital introduced its MyBook line, a mass market of extern a mass market external hard drives that feature a compact book-like design. On October 7th, 2007, Western Digital released several editions of a single 1TB hard drive, the largest in its My Book line. In 2007, Western Digital acquired magnetic media maker Comag. Also in the same year, Western Digital adopted perpendicular recording technology in its line of notebook and desktop drives. This allowed it to produce notebook and desktop drives in the largest classes of time. Western Digital also started to produce the energy-efficient GP green power range of drives. In 2007, Western Digital announced the WD GP drive tutoring rational speed between 72,000 and 5400 RPM, which, which is technically correct, while also being misleading. The drive spins at 54, the drive spins at 5,405 RPM, and the green power spin speed is not variable. WD GP drives are programmed to unload the heads whenever idle for a very short period of time. Many Linux installations write to the file. Many Linux installations write to the file system a few times a minute in the background. As a result, there may be 100 or more load cycles per hour and the 300,000 load cycles rating of a WD GP drive may be exceeded in less than a year. On April 21st, 2008, Western Digital announced the next generation of its 10,000 RPM SATA WD Raptor series of hard drives. The new drives, called WD Velociraptor, featured 300 GP capacity and 2.5 inch 64 millimeters platters enclosed in the ice pack, a 3.5 inch 89 millimeter mounting frame with a built in heat sink. Western Digital said that the new drives are 35% faster than the previous generation. On September 12, 2008, Western Digital shipped a 500 GB 2.5 inch 64 millimeter notebook hard drive which is part of their Scorpio Blue series of notebook hard drives. On January 27, 2009, Western Digital shipped the first 2TB internal hard disk drive. On March 30th, 2009, they entered the solid state drive market with the acquisition of Silicon Systems Incorporated. 
its acquisitions was unsuccessful, and a few years later, Western Digital discontinued all solid-state storage product products based on Silicon Systems Design, Silicon Edge, and Silicon Drive families of SSDs and memory cards, but its investors was used later in development of various other solid-state storage products. With larger developments going after 2016 acquisition of SanDisk, on July, two, on July 27th, 2009, Western Digital announced the first 1TB model hard disk drive, which shipped a, as both a Passport Series portable USB drive as well as a Scorpio Blue Series notebook drive. In October 2009, Western Digital announced the shipment of 3TB internal hard disk drive, which has 750 GB pure platter destiny with, ST, with SATA interface, 2010s. In March 2011, Western Digital agreed to acquire parts of the storage unit of Hi Chi of of HGST for about, about $4.3 billion, of which $3.5 billion was paid in cash, and the rest was 25 million shares of Western Digital. In 2011, Western Digital established a, an R&D facility and its Malaysian plant at a cost of 1.2 billion US dollars. In March 2012, Western Digital completed the acquisition of, a, of HGST and became the largest traditional hard drive manufacturer in the world. To address the requirements of regulatory agencies, in May 2012, Western Digital devised devised sets to manufacture and sell certain 3.5-inch hard drives for the desktop and consumer electronics markets to Toshiba in exchange for one of its 2.5 inch hard drive factory for one of its 2.5 inch hard drive factories in Thailand. In December 2013, Western Digital stopped manufacturing parallel ATA hard drive hard di hard disk drives for laptops 2.5 inch form factor and desktop PCs 3.5 inch form factor. Until that time, they they were the, they were last hard disk manufacturer to produce PTA PATA hard disk drives. Furthermore, they were the only manufacturer that had 250 GB and 320 GB in 2.5 inch form factor. In February 2014, Western Digital announced a new purple line of hard disk drives for use in video surveillance systems with capacities from 1 to 4 TB. They feature internal optimizations for, applic for applications that involve near-constant disk writing and all-frame technology which is designed to reduce write errors. In October 2015, after being required to operate the company anonymously from WD, the Chinese Ministry of Commerce issued a decision allowing the company to begin integrating HGST into its main business. But under the condition that it may that it maintain the the HGST brand and sales team for at least two more years, the HGST brand was phased out in 2018, and since then all HGST branded products were just branded Western Digital. In May 2016, Western Digital acquired SanDisk for. 19 billion US dollars. In the summer of 2017, Western Digital licensed the Fusion IO SanDisk Ion Accelerator software to One Stop Systems. In 2016, HGST closed its Malaysian plant. In April 2017, Western Digital moved its headquarters from Ivern, California to HGST's headquarters in San Jose, California. In, in August 2017, Western Digital bought cloud storage provider up there with the intention to continue building out of the out of the service. In September 2017, Western Digital acquired Tegile Systems maker of flash memory storage arrays. Western Digital rebranded Tegile as Intelli Flash and sold it to Data Direct Networks in September 2019. In October 2017, Western Digital shipped the world's first 14 TB HDD the helium-filled HGST UltraStar HS14. In December 2017, Western Digital reached an agreement with Toshiba about the sale of the jointly 
about the sale of the jointly owned NAND production facility in Japan. In June 2018, Western Digital acquired Wearable Incorporated, a small company based in, in the Chicago area that produced the SanDisk Wireless Drive and SanDisk Connect Wireless Stick, which were diverged from Wearable Incorporated's Airstash Wireless Server Platform. In May 2018, Toshiba reached an agreement with the Bain Consortium about the sale of that chip unit. In July 2018, Western Digital announced their plan to close their hard disk production facility in Kuala Lumpur to shift the company towards flash drive production, leaving the company with just two HDD production facilities in Thailand. The company ranked 158 on the 2018 Fortune 500 of the largest unit United States corporations by revenue. In June 2019, Kioxia experienced a power cut at one of its factories in Yokaichi, Japan, resulting in the loss of at least 6 exabytes of flash memory, with some sources estimating the loss as high as 15 exabytes. Western Digital used and still uses Kioxia's facilities for making its own flash memory chips. 2020s. In November 2020, Digital Western Digital produced a new consumer SSD, the WD Black SN850 1TB, using a proprietary NVMe version 1.4 controller G2. It is reported to outperform Samsung's 980 Pro 1TB as well as other new to market SSDs containing the Fizon E18 controller that arrived after the after the SN850 become became available. The only high perform higher performing SSD at that time was Intel's Opti Optane line, which is a non-consumer workstation server-based SSD with a cost of over five times the SN850. In June 2021, users reported that their MyBook Live NS NAS drives, which were discontinued products last manufactured in 2013, had been erased, leading to the company advising that the devices be, be disconnected from the internet. In August 2021, Western Digital and Japanese memory chip, chip supplier Kyoxia, formerly Toshiba Memory, began working out the details of a merger to be finalized in September 2021. In October of the same year, it became clear that the merger talk stalled. In February 2022, Western Digital and Kyoxia reported that contamination issues have affected the output of their flash memory joint production factories, with WD admitting that at least 6.5 exabytes of memory output being affected. The Kiyakami and Yokachi factories in Japan stopped producing due to the contamination. WD experienced a cyber attack breaching the company's systems on March 23, 2023. On April 2nd, the company proactively took some services offline, including MyCloud, to examine the extent of the intrusion. The hackers allegedly stole around 10 terabytes of data from the company, including customer information, and demanded a ransom of minimum eight figures to not to not publish the stolen data. Merger talks with Kioxia. Merger talks with Kioxia resumed in, 20, in 2023 but was called off after Kioxia's largest shareholder, Bain Capital, and indirect shareholder, SK, SK Penix, declared their opposition, their opposition to the deal in October. In the October earnings call, Western Digital announced it would spin off its flash memory business, effectively reversing the Sandus merger by the second half of 2024. And there is a history of... And there's the history of Western Digital. Well, if you look at it this way, they've teamed up with many companies, such as Silicon Systems and Toshiba, and that's how they became very popular, and with the company being founded by a former employee of Motorola, that's how they became even more popular. But anyways, with that being said, I think this is where I'm going to end off this video. If you guys have been to enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to the video of the day. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my other channels, Exotic Dan Walkthroughs, and dance plays as well and sorry if my voice sounded funny throughout this video i'm currently going through a little bit of a cold right now and until then i will see you guys in the next one goodbye